Hey folks, this is IOether and we're back this time today. We're playing some Battle Brothers and I just want to showcase the game, show it off a little bit. So, Battle Brothers is a tactical military fantasy-ish game. So it's a little like D&D, it's a little like Lord of the Rings without quite so much magic in it. An army, whatever you want to call it, and you go around and you basically act as a mercenary your, your main goal is to survive is to build up your troops and build a roster make it bigger better and more able to well continue surviving you have to keep track of your food how many tools and supplies you have your ammo of course your gold so you can keep paying your guys because if you can't pay your guys then obviously that's not gonna go well right <laughs> nobody wants to stick around and not get paid you have objectives or ambitions you can do. There's a whole bunch of in-depth things you can go about doing to make sure that you are creating the best future for your mercenaries. Whether that is by going out and being the best, most professional, amazing person where you befriend different towns and then you can go back there and be safe. Or you can start raiding those towns and then you have to be careful where on the map you go. Because obviously you don't want to go back to somewhere you've raided uh, too soon or they will not like you and may bring out weapons of their own. <laughs> there isn't one way you can play this game. You can play it any way you want to. The important thing is that you try and win and you try and survive. But what I like most about this game, more than any of that surface stuff, is the fact that you can go in and change the names uh, and edit the characters really to any way you want to so I can go in and make this your if I could spell with one hand this would be so much easier your name here and we can make them epic awesomeness there we go so this is now your name here, Epic Awesomeness. Uh, and we can go ahead and we can change it his gear. And we can change out what he carries and, and everything. Um, we can go ahead and set that back to normal. We can adjust whether or not he carries a shield. I mean, if I want him to go into battle without a shield, he can go into battle without a shield. It won't help him any, but I could do that. Of course, we come to what the... This game boils down to going into a combat, choosing that this is the right fight for me. Now, this game doesn't hold my hand. It doesn't tell me, hey, this is the fight you want to take because, you know, you're, you're going to win this. Now, uh, if I go into this fight, I have a fair chance of losing my guys. I have a fair chance of, of guys dying, which means that it shortens the odds of survival. Which means I might not make it through this fight. Now, of course, I'm going to take the fight because I want to show you the whole game. And half of the game involves fighting. So, obviously, i got to take this fight. But you don't need to. If you wanted to just run around the map the whole time and trade, pick up goods in one city, run them to another city and sell them, and then bring other goods back to a third city or a fourth city... You could. You could literally just run around the map the entire game and just trade with different cities and not have to ever fight anyone. Now, that would be a problem because later on into the game, the more enemies start to appear on the map, the more likely you are to have to fight somebody who isn't going to be kind enough to let you run away. But if you did decide that you wanted to fight, combat is fairly straightforward and yet incredibly complicated. You can just run your guys straight forward, or you can run the other, you know, the other guys will come straight forward. But then, actually fighting is a little more in-depth. And so, yeah. That is the game in a nutshell. After you beat all these guys, you get some loot. You take that loot back home. You can sell it, or you can trade it, or whatever. You can, or you can use it. And so, yeah. That is the game in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this. And this is IOE throughout.